Good afternoon, Grace Fellowship. I wanted to put this video out here for a quick encouragement to be people who are prayerfully dependent upon God. That is one of the characteristics of a discipled person, and certainly in times of crisis like we're in now, it can be easier to feel our need for God and cry out to Him for things. But I pray that we would be people who do this at all times, so even two or three years from now, when the crisis is past, that we would still be people who are relentlessly, prayerfully dependent upon God. My most recent sermon a few weeks back, I made reference to a series of books written by a guy named Andrew Case, and I got a lot of feedback from you guys on that, so I want to draw attention to them. There are three of them. The first one is called Setting Their Hope in God, Biblical Intercession for Parents on Behalf of Their Children. The next one is Prayers of an Excellent Wife, Biblical Intercession for a Wife for Her Husband. And then the last one, I only have the Kindle version of it. It's Water of the Word, Biblical Intercession for a Husband Praying for His Wife. And in these books, he's done the same thing in each of them. He's taken either a paragraph from a particular chapter, or he's taken one, two, or three chapters and kind of coalesced it down to its general essence. And then each of those is then simply a prayer, written in verbal form, communic communicative form, where it addresses God, and then you just simply pray it. And so each day I do so. I do so with my eyes open. I do so praying it out loud. And I do so even with uh, inflecting my voice when it's appropriate or if there's a question mark, raising my voice at the end of the question so that I'm really trying to dialogue with God. The other thing I do is I indicate the day that I prayed this prayer for my kids or for my wife. And I've been doing this now for either six or seven years. So when I go back to each page, I'm able to see the six previous times that I've prayed this prayer for my children or my wife. And I'm just encouraged and I'm reminded that our God, who is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, is there listening to me. And then the other thing I do is I have a spiritual disciplines journal. This is something I uh, suggested to the students at the fall retreat last year. And in it, I have mine broken down into three sections. The first section is where I just take some notes on what I've been reading in the Bible for my personal times. The second session is where I write down the fighter verse, trying to get it to stick into my mind, which is proving harder and harder to do. And then the last section is my prayer section. And it's there that I have more personal and intimate prayers that are not just the generic ones found in the books by Andrew Case. And I pray those different prayers for my wife and my children and for those in the church. And then I try to go back when, from time to time and then indicate when they've been answered in the affirmative or in the negative. So I pray that you guys would follow the example of Jesus who prayed all the time and that together we would be a church and a people who are prayerfully dependent upon God, not just in a time of crisis but at all times. Thank you.